there, runner, and welcome to another Sunday, I believe, which means it is time for another Live Watches Call of the Night. Oh, boy. So, I know we're a little bit late, but seeing as I damn near lost my channel earlier in the week, you're gonna have to forgive me just a little bit. But we're here. We're having some fun. In the previous episode, uh, Co co-channeled co-channeled his his asexual powers to solve the world's greatest only fan scam my god i'm so proud of our son i am so proud of him um and and i honestly i really do feel like our boy like that if anything is proof that our boy is ace that is it because goddamn all the allosexuals in the scene were so focused on the tibby that no, but they, like they didn't even notice how fucking obvious it was. My God! But uh, so we've got so we've basically been just going through the different vampires. So we had Seri, then we had Maki. Is that her? Name? The maid one. Uh, and so I imagine next one's gonna either be the one that wears the corset dress or the one in the business suit. Because it really does seem like we're... Midori, thank you. Because it really does feel like we're going just kind of down the list of the vampires and just seeing how they handle their vampirism. And basically, it feels like we're just going down the list of fucking vampire clans, you know what I mean? Like, we had Clan Bruja, now, then we had Clan fucking Toriador, and then we're gonna get to the fucking Ventrus and the goddamn Zimiche. Like, holy fuck. Oh, boy. Hanzo Miche is great, I love them. They're fucking monsters, like actual fucking monsters, I love them. Uh, but, let's get in here and let's see what our boy gets up to, shall we? In three, two, one, and go! <laughs> God damn it! Hey, they got upgrades. God damn it, Chaos Dragoon. Nice first chat. Love it, my guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. I forgot that that's what Nazana does for money. I forgot that Nazana's whole fucking scam for getting money is massages and snuggle buddies. Jesus fucking Christ, that's a like, oh god. That's the most Japanese way for a vampire to work, and I love it. Imagine this bitch turns out to be a fucking vampire hunter. What's your name, miss? Helsing. <laughs> She's out of your league, middle schooler! Finger guns! Oh my god, she's so... Wife? Wife, 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 wife? Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the- the- I- I'm sorry? But the best wife in the series has appeared. Let's see. Dresses like shit. Always looks tired. Smokes a cigarette for the aesthetic. I'm sorry, everybody. The new wife has appeared. Very sorry. <laughs> like, as much as I love vampires, and vamp- and any vampire could get it, though. I'm sorry, y'all. I have my weakness. I have my weakness. And aesthetic smoking? That's one of them. Like, holy shit. It's fucking... She says as she hits her vape. You shut up. I will be as slutty as I want. Fuck you. <laughs> People really like her. Good. Good, they should. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 
Yeah, but I'm animated, though, so I've got an advantage. Fuck you. God damn it. Uh, I both love and hate when Sai intrudes on my streams. That's why I'm as loud as possible whenever Sai streams, just so they know. Ah, oh, she's got the fucking art. She's got the fucking drawing gloves on, but she's not drawing. Fuck. Aesthetic. Ah. Oh my god, I love her so much. I need to get that fucking overlay that Joe Cat has, or, or make one of my own, where it's just wife, 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 wife. I think I just broke my tracking with that vape cloud, fuck. It's not sketchy, it's just gay. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Nazan is going to fucking jail! Let's go, Nazan is going to jail! Oh my fucking god. Just encouraging Miss Conda. Oh god. Oh no, she's so incredibly based. Oh no. <laughs> The only way she could get any cooler is if she was a vampire, too. Vampire Hunter! Oh, she might actually be a vampire hunter. Oh, she might actually just be a vampire hunter. Let's go! No, no, you super shit. No, you super fucking shit. No, he's gone missing. Oh no! He never went home when he became a vampire. Oh shit! Oh shit! Your actions have consequences, motherfucker. Your actions have fucking consequences. Oh, Paul. Wife, 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 wife. Wife! 
Holy shit. I really hope I haven't peaked my microphone. I haven't checked what my balances are yet since I put it in the new position. Oh no. Bon bon wah. We're gonna sneak in and commit a felony. <laughs> Like in... What's her face? Asai? Is that her name? Asai's always in her school uniform. Does she... Holy fuck, our boy! Akira, that's her name. Are we sure he's not already a vampire and just too fucking stupid to notice it? Because my god, that is some agility. But that's part of the fun! You could have been reported missing or dead, like that Akun guy! <laughs> Nothing brings friends together like a felony misdemeanor. How many... Hi, Daniel. How many Japanese schools have... How many Japanese schools have fucking toilet ghosts? Like... Like, the school I went to never had any fucking shit like that. The closest we had was the fucking guy dealing meth out of the girl's bathroom. Like, that's the closest we had to a fucking toilet ghost. Animes to believe all of them. <laughs> like, actually, like... Like, Japanese schools get ghosts. We get... We get active shooters and fucking drug dealers. Like, fuck, I feel like we really got shortchanged here in America. My god. Holy fuck. I mean, okay, that mystery might be true, then, because they can't test it. Australia, you get kangaroos. Isn't that just your gym teachers? <laughs> you know, you have to, like, all right, first day of gym class, here's a kangaroo. Take up a fighting stance, motherfucker, you're gonna box today. Bang, bang. <laughs> God, even when you fucking die as a teacher, you have to come back and grade papers after hours. Fuck. Really glad I got out of that. God damn, I could have been a history teacher. God, that would have been nightmarish, huh? Hmm. Aw, oh, shit. Welcome to the stream, Curran. Oh, fuck! The ghost is real! Let's go! Welcome to the stream, Curran. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this man gone. <laughs> Three kids gone die tonight! <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
today was my last day. I didn't sign up for after school activities. Oh shit! Okay, so he is he a vampire or just a pervert? No, you can't have tribute, Lukavai. Sorry for the lack of sound. I have them turned off during recording, if you're new. Sorry. Moments. My man's just wants the sippy. Holy shit! Co with the steel chair! Oh my god, Co with the steel chair, let's go! Okay, okay, stake that motherfucker. Stake that motherfucker. Thank you for the follow, Kurinar. Welcome to the dark future. Strap in. Probably because he hasn't been taking care of himself, and two, probably because he hasn't fucking eaten in a long ass time. Stake that motherfucker, Ko! God damn! You have a chair! Stake him! Wife? 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 We're on call of the night for now. Edge Runners is after. Wife, 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 wife. There's only enough for me to have enough time to eat. <laughs> Me either. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break to get like some breakfast in a little bit, I think. Uh Alright, come on. Alright, am I was I right? Is she a vampire hunter? Give me her last name. If it's not Van Helsing, I'm gonna be disappointed. Come on, stake this motherfucker! Stake him! Ah, oh, she's giving him a bitch a big huggy. So she's. So what's going on here? Oh, her blood is poison. Vampire hunter wife So that's... Okay, so that's why he looks like a homeless guy, then. So... Ten years. Ten years, no blood. So that's a... So vampires... So vampires can go a long-ass time between feedings. It just sucks. That's, that's actually pretty cool. I like that p piece of lore here. Okay, so she's gonna just stake him now and kill him, right? So... Okay, so here's the question. 
Is, is she done something with her blood to make it so that it's unpalatable, or... Or does this guy just not like the taste of blood? Is like the first, is the first sippy the worst one? I think he never got a taste for it. Okay, okay. So, I guess that kind of shows that she's less smart and more just, like, extremely fucking, like, ballsy. I, I really like her. I really, really like her. What? 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 What the hell is going on? <laughs> Why does it ring? Why is it ring hurting him so much? Her blood just tastes like garbage for vampires. Okay then. In, in Hunter the Reckoning, she'd be a redeemer. Oh, I know about those guys! They find vampires who don't want to be vampires and humanely kill them, right? That's the idea? Okay, so sunlight does kill. So why... So why does Nazana not die when exposed to sunlight? I'm very confused. Please explain how you did that, please. Please explain how you did that. Please, wife. The cute, cute girls with, with short, with medium short hair named Anko. Okay, I'm in. Hopefully this one doesn't get fat. <laughs> oh, God. Someone told me what happened to Anko in Boruto, and I am so fucking sad. Well, I mean, of course she did. I mean, if she didn't kill him, it would have looked bad on her KD. <laughs> it would have been an assist instead of a kill. Pog, 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 pog. Hmm. I mean, if- if starving makes them weak to sunlight, but, like, feeding makes it so that they... are resistant to sunlight, that would make sense, because the more feeding you do, the more human-like you become, right? That's the uh, general idea in most vampire mythology. And now you know even less, because there's hunters that you need to learn about too, motherfucker. Uh... Oh boy. Like, based on what we've seen so far, it seems like vampire hunters really should not be a thing. Um, only really because the vampires we've met seem to be pretty pretty harmless for like for the most part but it does make me wonder if there are more classical vampires out there and that's why hunters like Anko exist you know like the vampires we've seen so far they don't really hurt anyone do they like you know they yeah they need their sippy but Doing the sippy doesn't seem to hurt anyone. And there's no... Ah! Ow. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Ghostlight30. Welcome to Dark Future. Strap in. Um... Like, they, they, they don't really hurt anyone. They don't hunt. They don't damage anyone. You know, like, they're getting their sippies through massage parlors, 
maid cafes, um, more or less just completely consensually. Like, if this was Vampire the Masquerade, these guys would all have the consensualist perk. Um, or not perk, uh, predation style, I think that's the term? I'm sorry, I, I, I only have, like, one Vampire the Masquerade game, like, every other week, so I, sorry if I don't know off the top of my head. Um, and that's what my vampire is, actually. She's a consensualist. Uh, they, they don't kill anyone, they don't seem to do any damage, they don't even have, like, the narcotic bite like my Ventru does. Um... Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll read that in a moment. Sorry. Like, so... It seems like... And, and it seems like... It seems like when they convert people, it is it is by consent, based on what we've seen from Akun. Um... So, these are probably the most, like, unarguably good vampires that I've seen in a lot of media. But the fact that vampire hunters exist means one of two things. Either humans do not understand what the vampires are about, or there's another type of vampire that is a lot meaner out there that we've not run into. And those are the ones that get, you know, they're the ones that get fucking staked and garlic, you know what I mean? Like, those are the ones that get done and dusted in the most literal fucking way. <laughs> um, they did say people, people fall in love with them in about five minutes. I mean, yes, but I feel like though, like from what we saw with uh, with Sari and with Midori, it seems like they don't go out of their way to make childer. They look for people that they personally think would benefit from the embrace and then they vet them and i imagine that there's probably some level of consent involved because you don't just go up to someone and be like hey guess what fucker you're a vampire now otherwise you're gonna wind up with more people like this and that's gonna lead to masquerade breaches and that's going and i, and I know like the masquerade is not a thing in this universe but i'm gonna use the term masquerade breach because it's just a logical thing that exists. Like, because if humans all knew about vampires, people would be buying fucking oak steaks real fucking quick, you know what I mean? Um, like, like, if you, if, if, even if, like, one-tenth of every person that gets, let's say that, like, one vampire makes three childer a year, right? Let's just, let's just throw that out, like, on average, right? Like, one, for every one vampire there is, there's three child are made every year, right? So, and we've seen four vampires. So, four times three, that's 12, that's 12 child are. If one of their three child are turned out like that, like that guy. And by the way, by the way, each one of those, each one of the child are that don't turn out like that guy they themselves get three childer themselves the next year. Uh, like if only one childer in a ba in 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 a, in a batch of three turns out to be a fucking nut nutcase and fucking goes berserk, that is an exponential amount of masquerade breaches that are going to lead to an exponential amount of vampire discovery and an exponential amount of vampires getting fucking sent to their final death. That is not sustainable in any way, shape, or form. Meaning that there must be some way that they vet people for becoming vampires and ensure that it's something that they want, right? Like, there has to be, right? There has to be. Like, I want to know how, what exactly the protocol is for embracing someone. They could, like, because they can't know about vampires if you're not going to turn them. But at the same time, if you turn them without them knowing what a vampire is, it's going to turn out like that guy nine times out of ten. So... 
there has to be something where you're just where they just kind of bring up vampires offhandedly or like oh hey if they were real would you want to be one or hey do you want to do 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 like i'll have an answer by the end of the season okay cool 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 um but yeah like like but like right now i'm just kind of theory crafting and i apologize if it's annoying but <laughs> but yeah like just like world building mechanics wise like it has to exist um yeah, like it, but yeah, but like it, it, it brings up questions. This episode and it's questions that I really, really like, and and questions that I think are going to be really, really fun to have answered at some point. Um, visually, this, this 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 show continues to impress. Characters' designs are still fucking amazing. Um, Anko is, I mean, continues the tradition of characters named Anko that are pog as fuck. Here's hoping she doesn't get ruined in a later season. Like the other Anko we know. Because, oh my god. Fucking Anko deserved better, Kishimoto. My god. Um. God, Anko, like, oh god. When we get, when we eventually get to our, our, our subathon Naruto marathon. Like, I'll probably go into it more. But holy fuck. If you want to talk about a character that suffered from Kishimoto syndrome. You don't got to look at Sakura. You don't got to look at fucking, uh, like, Shizune. You don't gotta look at Eno. No, you gotta look at fucking Eno. You gotta look at fucking Anko. Anko suffers from Kishimoto sim Syndrome worse than any of them. Holy fuck. But... Uh, I love how Anko's marriage has immediately switched to the cold Yeah, exactly! Exactly! Yes, another thing. Yeah, like, like, literally, like, they, they this show uses, uh, mood and, ca and color grading to an incredible degree when it's, uh, when it, when, when it tone shifts. Like, 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 while, like, the, while, while the, our, our, our fuckabout squad was just moving around the, was moving around and just kind of dicking around in the school, like, we had kind of, like, a cool palette, but, like, you had sections of warmness, and it's like, oh, man, hey, they're just having a wacky fun time in an empty school da -da 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 -da. and then the vampire guy shows up and and it goes all red and grainy and 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 it's and it looks like a fucking horror movie and then anko shows up and it switches that cool like cool like police thriller kind of thing and it's ooh, it's so fucking spicy i love it um and introducing her as Introducing her as an antagonist that Ko accidentally puts on his own trail is noir, thank you. Like, uh, is, is honestly something that I really, really enjoy. It shows that Ko has no fucking idea what he's doing, and it's done in such a way that works really, really, really well for him, like, as a character. Like, he wants to become a vampire, but he doesn't really understand what the world he wants in on is about. Like, he's got, like, he's got about 10% of the information he needs, and even then, about 5% of that, he's barely fucking internalized. Um, and, and that works really, really well, and I like that a whole bunch. Uh, and it's, it's done exceedingly well. Um, yeah, like, uh, Adding in Vampire Hunters does add a bunch of things to the show that I really like, but I do think they need the 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 the, the, the whole vampire thing needs just a little more a little more fleshing out. I wanna know like are Nazna and the Waifu Camarilla, are they like the default for vampires in this world? Or are they exceptions, right? Are, are, are most vampires like them, or are most vampires absolute fucking dipshits that, you know, need to be taken out back and shot, you know? Like, um, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's fun. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think that's really all I want to talk about. Like, I am curious about her method of killing him. It looked like, so that ring that she gave him. It looked like he recognized it. So, 
is the way you kill a vampire not through garlic or crosses or antibacterial hand soap, which, by the way, I have seen used as a, as a vampire repellent in a, in a piece of modern media. It's in the spirit, but holy fuck, is it dumb? <laughs> um, like, do you connect them to their human life? Is that it? You you connect them to their human life through a keepsake, and the and the more and the more emotional resonance they have with that keepsake, the more damage it does. Is that it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, maybe it's a thing. It's like, if you're a vampire, and you have regrets about being a vampire, coming into contact with a piece of memorabilia from your human life does damage to you proportional to the amount of regret you have regarding that object. Maybe that's what it is. Hi, Blue Neko Fox. Hello. We're just doing our wrap-up of our first show, and then we're going to move on to Edge Runners. Uh, but yeah. Uh, episode good. Really good. Visually, storytelling-wise, the thematically, uh, just really fucking good. And I liked it a lot. So, this is where the people on the VOD are going to get off. So... Thank you for watching, everybody on YouTube. Uh, let me know what you thought of this down there in the comments. If you're watching this live, let me know in the chat. Uh, if you just got here, stay tuned. We're going to be watching uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Um, and if you want to watch this live, make sure you come to twitch.tv forward slash live the cyber doll, which is linked in the description. Uh, I do try and record anime every single every single day. One of them comes out. So right now, I believe our schedule is. Tuesdays, uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, I think, generally, at 10.30 a.m. Uh, that might change as the season comes in, but, <clears throat> um, but, yes. For the next few days, we're gonna be doing Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Overlord on, on Wednesday, etc., 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 and I'll see you there. So, have a good one, Runner. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to support me on Patreon, you can. Link in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.